Okay, so while I'm while you guys are waiting for me to call you up to come get your clay, you do have some things that I need you to do. One of those things is make sure that your bag is labeled cor correctly. So this one already has a name on it. I need to cross that name out. And of course, I'm going to write my own. And my grade. I should write my age. No, I'm not going to do that. All right. Um, after you do that, you also have to get one other thing ready, and this is your bowl. So um, the clay will stick to this plastic, and you'll have to scrape it all off, which will make your bowl a mess if you don't put a nice wet paper towel onto it. So this wet paper towel is just going to make it slide off of the plastic mold really easily um, so that we, it can make, we can make it look much prettier. All right. Now, once you're back at your table, you've done those two things and you have your clay, you're gonna roll it out. So when you roll out a slab, I like to stand up. So I'm gonna roll it out going multiple directions and flipping it every once in a while. Be careful as you roll it out. You don't want your edges to get super thin. So I actually stop right before I get to the edge and then come back. I never do this because if I do that, you're going to see it gets super thin on one side. This process is a lot slower than you would think it is if you're doing it right. Another thing you want to think about besides just keeping it even is keeping it round. So you don't want a long skinny piece of clay because then you'll have two sides covered, but you'll have big gaps on two other sides. So again, I go multiple directions as I roll it out. So I'm gonna finish this and talk about the thickness that you need to make it, um, and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, now that I've gotten it ready, I'm going to actually measure it with a ruler and make sure it's not too thin. So you want it to be about a quarter of an inch thick. Don't put a hole right in the middle of your slab. Test it over here at the edge. And mine is about a quarter of an inch. So um, a quarter of an inch is just halfway between your halfway mark. So it would be right about there. Now mine's actually more than a quarter of an inch because my ruler, the markings don't go all the way to the end, but it's about a quarter of an inch thick, which is what I want. You don't want it to be too thin because that'll make it break a, um, and crack and create all sorts of problems. I'm gonna cut off that thin side. Okay. Uh, now I'm ready to actually put it on my bowl. So it's called a slump mold because it just kind of slumps over the mold. That in this case, our mold is the bowl. And then I gently press down around it. I want the clay to touch the plastic underneath it. I don't want to press too hard on the edges. I just want to gently press down. You don't want those edges to get thinner than the rest of it. So I kind of lift it up. Should look like a big hat. Don't put it on your head though, please. Pretty please. Okay, now, now that I have it slumped on there, I'm gonna do the hardest part of this process, which is um, smoothing. Actually, that's not the hard part. The trimming is the hardest part. So I have to take a tool and make it even all the way around my edge. So what I do, the easiest way I have discovered is I hold my tool steady, but I turn my bowl. And I also don't cut all the way through the clay the first time I go around. I'm just barely touching it with the knife. You could use a needle tool for this too. And now that I have an edge that looks pretty good and a line to follow, I can actually cut all the way through it. When I cut all the way through it, I also turn it because I want to keep my tool steady and pointed the same way. If I'm changing the direction that I hold my tool, it's going to change the clay and I'll have to fix all that stuff later. All right. 
This nice soft clay can be used by my other classes, so that's gonna go back in one of the bags up there. And then you can take your time and kind of smooth out the edges with the rest of the class time. Once it's time for cleanup, these of course are gonna get put into your bags with the bowl and paper towel. We wanna keep it all together for now anyways. All right, that's it, have fun.